Medullary sponge kidney, MSK, is a rare congenital renal condition with cystic dilations in the collecting ducts and tubules of the renal medulla. This video will cover its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, management, and considerations like pregnancy and surgery. Understanding MSK helps physicians provide better care. Medullary sponge kidney, MSK, is a condition characterized by cystic dilations in the renal collecting ducts. Genetic factors, including mutations in genes involved in renal tubular development, contribute to its development. Understanding these mechanisms may help in finding new treatment strategies. The clinical presentation of MSK can vary widely, ranging from asymptomatic cases to severe renal complications. Common symptoms include recurrent urinary tract infections, nephrolithiasis, hematuria, and proteinuria. Renal pain, often associated with the passage of stones, is another hallmark feature of MSK. Additionally, due to structural abnormalities within the renal tubules, MSK patients are prone to developing acid-base imbalances, such as renal tubular acidosis. By recognizing and understanding the presenting features and signs of MSK, physicians can expedite the diagnosis and appropriate management of this condition. In the context of diagnosing medullary sponge kidney, MSK, imaging techniques like renal ultrasound, intravenous urography, and CT scan are used to identify radiographic findings such as medullary cystic dilations and nephrolithiasis. However, some patients with MSK may not display visible radiographic abnormalities, necessitating additional diagnostic approaches like ureteroscopy and retrograde pyelography for confirmation. Nephrolithiasis, or the formation of kidney stones, is a common complication seen in up to 80% of MSK patients. The pathogenesis of stone formation in MSK is multifactorial and involves various factors, including urinary stasis, supersaturation of stone-forming substances, and abnormal tubular reabsorption. The composition of MSK stones differs from that of typical calcium stones, often containing calcium phosphate and magnesium ammonium phosphate. Understanding the mechanisms behind stone formation in MSK is essential for developing appropriate treatment strategies aimed at stone prevention, dissolution, and removal. The management of kidney stones in medullary sponge kidney, MSK, involves conservative measures, such as fluid intake and dietary modifications, as well as medications. Intervention may be needed for symptomatic or complicated cases, using techniques like shockwave lithotripsy, ureteroscopy, or percutaneous nephrolithotomy. Identifying and correcting underlying metabolic abnormalities is vital for preventing stone recurrence and improving patients' quality of life. In medullary sponge kidney, MSK, Stagnant urine and dilated tubules increases the risk of urinary tract infections, UTIs. Atypical UTI symptoms and antibiotic resistance are common. Physicians must be aware of this susceptibility, promptly diagnose and employ preventive measures and targeted management to prevent complications. In medullary sponge kidney, MSK, chronic kidney disease, CKD, can occur due to various factors including infections, kidney stones, and interstitial nephritis. To slow down CKD progression, Physicians must monitor renal function, control blood pressure, and manage comorbid conditions. Renal tubular acidosis, RTA, both distal and proximal, is commonly associated with MSK, leading to disturbances in acid-base balance. Distal renal tubular acidosis, DERTA, is the most frequently observed acid-base disorder in this condition, characterized by an impaired ability to acidify urine. The pathophysiology of acid-base disorders in MSK is complex and involves dysregulation of ion transporters and acid-base regulating pathways. Recognizing and managing these acid-base imbalances are crucial components of comprehensive MSK care, as they can impact renal function and contribute to other clinical manifestations. Hematuria and proteinuria are common findings in MSK and require thorough evaluation and management. The underlying mechanisms behind these manifestations in MSK are multifactorial and involve various factors, including renal stone formation, tubulointerstitial inflammation, and underlying glomerular pathology. Identifying the cause of hematuria and proteinuria in MSK patients requires a systematic approach, including laboratory tests, imaging studies, and renal biopsy when necessary. Once the cause is established, appropriate management strategies addressing the specific etiology are implemented to minimize renal damage and improve patient outcomes. During pregnancy, women with medullary sponge kidney MSK, may experience exacerbated symptoms and complications. Increased urine stasis can lead to renal stone formation and an increased risk of urinary tract infections. Understanding the impact of pregnancy on MSK and implementing appropriate prenatal care is crucial. The presence of MSK during pregnancy may require specific obstetric management strategies to ensure the well-being of both the mother and the baby. Obstetric challenges such as pain management, monitoring for urinary tract infections, 
and the potential need for interventions related to stone passage should be considered. Collaboration between obstetricians and nephrologists is crucial to providing comprehensive care and addressing any challenges that may arise during the course of pregnancy. By tackling these challenges head-on, healthcare providers can optimize outcomes and provide appropriate care for pregnant women with MSK. In cases where conservative management strategies fail or patients experience recurrent or severe complications, surgical interventions may be necessary. The indications for surgical interventions in MSK primarily revolve around the management of nephrolithiasis and its associated complications. Various surgical procedures are available for stone removal, including shockwave lithotripsy, ureteroscopy, and percutaneous nephrolithotomy. The choice of intervention depends on the size, location, and composition of the stone, as well as the patient's clinical status. Understanding the available surgical options, their outcomes, and potential complications is essential for physicians managing MSK patients who require surgical intervention. In conclusion, medullary sponge kidney, MSK, is a congenital renal condition with diverse clinical manifestations and complications. Understanding its etiology, presenting symptoms, diagnostic approaches, treatment modalities, and future research requirements is crucial for enhancing patient care.